Hello everyone, welcome to our new course about MLOps and in this course we will talk about putting machine learning to production. And we will start with this video. In this video we will talk about what MLOps actually is. And if you go to your favorite search engine and type MLOps, you will eventually find a Wikipedia page. And in Wikipedia you will see that MLOps is a set of best practices for putting machine learning in production. And this will be the focus of that course. We will talk about these practices and tools that we can use for doing that. As an example for this course, we will use a problem of predicting the duration of a, ride, of a ride. Imagine that you need to hire a taxi. So this is you, and then you have your mobile phone, right? And then you either call a taxi service, and then you ask a taxi to come, or you use an app. So imagine that uh, this is our city, and you're located here, and then you need to go to this location. And to go there, taxi will take some time, and we're interested in predicting the duration of this trip, like how long exactly the trip will take. And this is the problem we will consider for this course. Okay, but what are actually these best practices we talked about? So what are the practices we can use for bringing machine learning to production? To answer that question, I want to talk a bit about a process for machine learning projects. It will be a very simplified view on the process. It will consist only three steps. Usually there is more, but in the simplest way, we can talk about three different stages of a machine learning project. So the first stage is design. Here we think if machine learning is the right tool for solving our problem. If we think about predicting the duration of a trip, do we really need machine learning here or there is something simpler we can use? If the answer is yes, we need machine learning, we go to the next stage, which is train. Here we train the model and we try to find the best possible model. We do a lot of different experiments. And as a result of this stage, we have a model that we need to use to apply to all new data. So we will call this stage operate. So in our particular case, let's say we have a model and we deploy this model to some sort of web service through an API. And then the customer from their phone can communicate with this API. So they will tell us the pick up location and where they want to go, the drop off location. And then our API will tell us that the trip approximately is going to take, let's say 10 minutes. So this process is called deployment. And this is done as a part of the operate stage. And also once we have our model, once the model is deployed, how do we make sure that the model is performing well, it doesn't degrade, it doesn't become worse. So MLOps helps us on all the stages with the things we talked about, with experimenting in such a way that we do not lose our mind in making sure that we can reproduce the results, we can retrain the model easily with just one click, then we can easily deploy the model and we can monitor the quality of this model. So MLOps is a set of practices for automating everything and for working together as a team on all these things. So this is briefly a high level overview of what MLOps is. We will talk about more details in the next videos, but what we will do immediately after this video is we will prepare the environment for the course. I will use a virtual machine. Of course, you do not need to get a computer in the cloud, but you will see how to do this. So see you soon.